So you've created your first web story, hit publish, and then nobody discovers it. This is obviously sad, but worry not. Google Discover and Search are just one way to get traffic. And in this episode, I will show you other ways to set your web stories up for success. You might think that once you hit the publish button on a story, it gets uploaded to Google Discover and Google Search. If you're used to Instagram or Snapchat, that would make sense, but that's not how the web works. A web story is a web page, and a web page doesn't get uploaded to Google. A new web page becomes a part of your own website, or whichever site is hosting your web stories. Google then finds that new page, through what we call crawling, and puts it into its index. After that, your web story might appear in Google search results if it matches a particular user query, and it might appear in Google Discover if it matches the particular interests of a user. Either way, neither of these traffic acquisition channels is a guarantee for eyeballs. There is, however, an effective solution to increase your chances for steady traffic to your stories, and that is featuring and embedding them on your website. By featuring your stories on your own site, your most engaged readers and anyone arriving on another article or page can end up discovering your stories organically. And for good measure, readers who follow your RSS feed will see them, plus you can add them to your newsletter if you have one, and link to them from your social media, just as you would do with a regular blog post. But back to your website. There are many different ways to lead your readers to your web stories. A singleton showcases a single web story on your homepage or inside an article. A carousel showcases multiple web stories in one module, so readers can easily discover more content. A compact display helps you organize web stories by any category you want, including topic, most recent, or trending. An author highlight helps you organize web stories by author, helping readers find content relevant to their interests. And of course, you could go all out and create a dedicated page so readers can browse all web stories in one place. Either way, you can feature web stories on your website as individual content, but you can also embed them into another blog post or page, just like you would embed a YouTube video. When you embed a story, your readers can interact with them right away and optionally view them full screen. And if there were multiple stories on a web page, you can configure the web story experience so that a swipe will lead to the next web story. Since this is your own website, you can personalize plenty of things there. They can range from the icon colors to the author image or headline, depending on your web story editor or content management system. If you're not afraid to touch the underlying HTML and CSS code, you can customize the experience extensively, like extending the UI of the full screen player. So how do you do it? If you're using WordPress as your content management system, Web Stories for WordPress makes it very easy for you. When you open a page or blog post in the built-in editor, you can insert a new Web Stories block. That Web Stories block currently provides three options for embedding stories into a post or page, with more coming in the future. You can display your latest stories, select them manually or embed just one at a time. And there are all sorts of configuration options available to work with every site theme. While this will work with most themes, more and more popular themes like the Astra theme are providing native integration for web stories. Other web story editors like Make Stories, Newsroom AI or Join do things a little differently as they are standalone tools that are not directly connected to your website. In this case, you get an embed code from the editor for something like a singleton or carousel embed and then add it manually to your site. With a little work to make your web stories an integral part of your website, you don't only bring additional traffic to them, you also modernize your website to all your existing readers. And this can work so well that publishers and creators are finding success with stories completely independent of Google Discover, in countries where the Google Discover carousel isn't even launched yet. If you don't believe me, watch the interview with the company Join that I link to here and in the comments. Finally, if you'd like to go all out and nail the look and feel, our team has published an over 100 page long design playbook to guide you. Tell me about your experience in the comments and reach out if you have any questions. As always, you can find us here on our blog, on Twitter and on Instagram. Onwards.